How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to our employee engagement series. This time I was joined by Doug DeWoody. Hope you all enjoy. How you doing? I'm doing well, how are you? Doing pretty good. <laughs> so what do you do here at Webco? I am the general manager of our carbon, our, our, of our carbon group. Gotcha. And you said you came from Oil City? I did, I worked at Oil City for, for 10 years prior to, to moving to, to Oklahoma. Gotcha. Um, so I hear you are really involved in the racing scene uh, when it comes to cycling, right? I, I am involved in the Tulsa cycling scene um, quite extensively over the last few years. I've gotten gotten pretty pretty involved in it. Okay. Uh, do you have a specific team you race for? Um, I, I'm currently on the Tulsa Wheelman, so I joined them maybe maybe two years ago. So. Yeah, my dad was uh, he actually raced for Tom's. Okay. Um, I, he raced in the Tulsa Tough on many occasions. Sure. Sure. Um, he retired out of that a couple probably a good five years ago at least. Um, but no, he was huge in that, and I actually I remember winning a. Uh, one of the kids races oh, okay. at the Tulsa Tough. Okay. I, I won one of those races. Well, that just shows how young yeah. you are, because Tulsa Tough's only been around like 11 or 12 years. Absolutely. So if you won a kid's race, you're, you're not mm-hmm. very old. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> I, I, was, I, was, I was pretty young. I'm only 20 now. So okay. I, All right. So I was 12, maybe, okay. or so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, it was one of my greatest achievements. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so how did you kind of get into that scene? Sure, sure. So I moved to Oklahoma. I transferred from, from Wall City to, to Oklahoma Carbon about, about 10 years ago now. And uh, when I moved, I was into motorcycle racing. So I've always had a thing with, with two-wheeled uh, uh, instruments of transportation. So when I moved here, I was into motorcycle racing. And when I got here, I didn't know anybody in the motorcycles. I didn't know where to motorcycle race. So I got out of the motorcycle hobby and I found the cycling hobby um, in Tulsa probably as one of the best cycling communities in, in the United States. And it was very apparent as soon as I moved here, it was very easy to get involved in, in cycling in Tulsa. And I uh, just kind of got hooked on it almost immediately. Yeah, absolutely. I, I live on, on Riverside and there's constantly people yeah, up and down sure. here. Uh, even I used to ride uh, down, up and down as well. Even moving here, you know, moving here, I didn't have any friends. And cycling became my social, my social scene, and now it's the people I, I you know, a lot of my, my out-of-work friends are, are cyclists. So. so typically, you know, in a year, I do about 10 to 12,000 miles a year on a bicycle. So it takes up a considerable amount of time. Um, you know, since I've moved to Oklahoma, one of my bucket list events every year is doing a race called the Leadville 100 in Leadville, Colorado. It's, um, you know, depending on who you talk to, the toughest mountain bike race in the United States at the highest altitude. So that's kind of my, my, my big event every year that our, our vacations are around. Okay. Um, so so that's a lot of my training is, is, is leading up to a, to a race in Colorado. Okay, so you do a, a lot of mountain, mountain biking as well, not just road cycling. Correct, I do uh, mountain biking and shockingly, I never expected mountain biking to be very good in Oklahoma, um, but you know, there's Turkey Mountain, which is a, a really good, really good um, um, off-road mountain biking. Um, Stillwater has great mountain biking. So yeah, for sure I do mountain biking and uh, Gravel, gravel bicycle racing, which is very popular in the Midwest, and and road cycling. You know, like you said, you know, Tulsa has a has a Criterium series called Tulsa Tough, which is probably the best bicycle race. One of many would say the best bicycle Criterium series weekend in the country. I um, mean, it gets worldwide attention coming to Tulsa, which is super exciting if you're a cyclist in Tulsa. So. Um, really, if you're in Tulsa and you like bicycling, you can find something to do every day and for sure every weekend. Um, so it's it's really a, it's a good healthy outlet and a good place to, I can compete on the bicycling scene instead of with my wife. So Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I used to, every week we would go to the, these Tuesday night rides um, and it was phenomenal watching people race there because my, my dad used to race in them as sure, well. Sure, sure. Um, I was really, really tight knit. Yeah, as well. absolutely, and you, you get to know a lot of people, which is really cool. Um, you know, even a lot of people that are in the same industry as Webco, that uh, you get to get to rub shoulders with. And like you said, there's a Wednesday night ride in Tulsa that's supposedly the largest unorganized group ride in the country that happens every Wednesday in Tulsa. So, really cool scene. You know, not all the cars in the area like us, but uh, it's a it's a it's a fun it's a fun uh, hobby to have. Yeah, absolutely. Um, do you have you ever thought about uh, participating in the Ironman Challenge? No, I have not thought about the Ironman Challenge because <laughs> um, I actually have a cycling coach, and okay. I, and I told her that I that I ran, and she said uh, that doesn't make you any better at cycling, so don't ever do that again. Which I was totally cool with because I don't I don't necessarily <laughs> like to run, um, but when Ironman came to Tulsa, it's, it's been hugely successful. Um, 
but for sure I can't swim. So uh, I would, it would be a bad, bad scene for me to, for me to jump into the Ironman. So I'll let some of the other guys in our organization have done the Ironman. I'm proud of them and um, good for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know Kyle does. Yep, Kyle, um, Jeremiah Taylor. Yeah, Jeremiah, yeah for yeah. sure. Yeah. Those guys worked hard and it's a, Cycling is a commitment, but to be good at iron, like let's say I do 15 or 20 hours a week of training, to be a decent at Ironman, I think you're doing like 30 plus hours of training, and that's a that's a serious commitment along with uh, having a family and a job. So that's so props to those guys, but for sure I'd still be swimming. I'd still be in the lake right now trying to finish the swim part of it. So if you're interested in the biking scene here in Tulsa, make sure to check out the Tulsa Tough website or just give it a Google. I'm sure there are plenty of avenues into the community here. Otherwise, if you'd like to see more of this content or any of our content in general, you can head over to our YouTube or you can check out our Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching.